Hey folks, welcome to another numeracy video. In this video, we're going to be looking at adding integers in context. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so our first question that we're going to be looking at is, I think it's kind of common with these temperature questions because I try to find like different word questions, but I kind of struggle. So if you do find any other word questions with uh, integers in context or integer word problems, flick it to me. And I'll see if I can do them later on. But anyway, let's get going through with question one. So question one, what we've got here is temperature was four, minus five degrees and it's increased by 10 degrees. What's the new temperature? So what we're doing here is we're actually going negative five plus um, 10 because it's increased by 10. And if that's the case, um, we've got negative five plus 10, which is equal to positive five. Um, and again, if you're not sure about it, um, you can actually just use the calculator, so you'd go negative 5 plus 10. Awesome. Going to question number 2, Dunedin uh, recorded temperature of minus 8 degrees, and then it rose by 14 degrees, so it has actually increased by 14 degrees, so we're going to add 14 to this. And what's the updated temperature? Now, um, you know, and I know I've already shown you how to do this in the calculator, with with numbers it's um especially with integers sometimes you can kind of you know people get confused with it but you can actually um rewrite it like this because you would actually write this as plus 14 and minus 8. now this is the same thing as saying 14 minus 8. Um, and if you do 14 minus 8 you're going to get 6. so minus 8 plus 14 really is just 6 <clears throat> six degrees here um, well should be six but anyway so we're gonna go minus eight oh no let's try that again we're gonna go minus eight plus 14 and that's going to equal six degrees so why don't you try number three and um, let me know what you get well usually it's probably a good idea to pause and give it a go um, I'll put up the remaining questions uh, Give you folks a couple of minutes just to have a read through the question um try it out by yourself and then uh, i'll go through the answers hopefully you had a chance to pause that and give it a, things a go but here we go so queenstown had a temperature of minus 12 um and now it increased by 18 degrees uh, so we're actually going to go plus 18. Uh, this is the same thing as saying 18 minus 12 so we're going to get once again we're going to get six degrees let's look at number four Four. Now, I know in the question, oh no, I shouldn't change the question. Okay, maybe I won't change the question. Uh, let's say it's negative three plus 11, right? Because that's what number four is. So we've got negative three degrees and it's increasing by 11 degrees. So negative three plus 11, that should, negative three plus 11, that should be eight for us. And of course, the last question in Wellington, we've got negative six and it's increasing by 13 degrees. So negative six plus 13, and that's equal to, what is it, 13 minus six. So we've got seven degrees. Now, hypothetically saying, hypothetically saying, let's say this, instead of 13 degrees, it actually rose by uh, two degrees. All right, just hypothetically. If that's the case, then we would go negative six plus two degrees. So if you think about it like this, right, in the number line, like if you were to, I'm gonna have to pause here and just draw a quick number line. There's my terrible number line right there. Now we're actually starting from negative six. And what we're doing is we are adding two. So if we are adding two, we're going to the right side of the number line. And that's what's happening here. So we're going one and then two. And so we should end up with negative four as our answer if the temperature rose by two degrees instead of 13. So let's check that in the calculator as well. So we're gonna go negative six plus two, and that's gonna give us um, negative four. So those are just uh, a few sample questions uh, for adding integers in context. All right, folks, that is basically it for this video. As always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to keep up with the latest content. Now, there should be a couple of playlists popping up here and here. Great material for revision. And as always, thank you for watching.